Welcome to today's webinar and today we're looking at how small business owners are turning today's emerging opportunities into long-term legacy growth. When you go into starting a business, you make a huge move. I mean, it's a big step committing to the financial development of your business and you get started in your business only to find that the cost of running your business seems to be getting more and more expensive every day. Rent, electricity, wages, uh, and all the rest that comes to running a business never seems to slow down. Staffing issues, they never disappear. And of course, time. Well, that's a never ending problem. There's never enough of it. What if you could set your business up using today's technology and create growth and keep your pricing at the same area? What if you could tap into some of these emerging opportunities doing exactly what you're doing now and still create long-term legacy growth? Now, how would that make you feel no matter what industry that you're actually coming from? Now, you may be asking, who am I and why am I going on through this? I've actually come from the hairdressing profession. My name is Helene Mearing there. Uh, that's a photograph of me. I haven't matured a little bit since that photograph was taken. But um, I've been in the profession of hairdressing and business coaching for many years. And my belief and experience in today's ever-changing world is that if you can simply show someone that there is an alternative route an alternative route is possible, it can open up the world of opportunity for so many. I strongly, strongly can see that we, with the massive changes that we're having here by combining unrelated industries, we're getting so much enormous growth happening. Just have a look at your Ubers and your Netflix and all sorts of things that are going on. And what I'm about to show you does actually work. And when you're willing to think differently about your business, you can create some massive results. Now, tapping into today's big changes, how do you make more money? And by that, we're meaning increase your revenue, scale your revenue up in your business. Well, you've pretty well got three choices. You can charge more for your products and services or you have to advertise more uh, and get more clients in, which becomes very expensive. And when you charge more, of course, people are going to go online and see if they can get a better value. The internet has put a lot of control in the hands of your customer. So that can be a little bit restrictive sometimes. And when you can go online and advertising becomes very expensive, particularly with this online world, you don't know where to go. And there's just so many different techniques that you could do. Or you could look at number three, you could start to sell different products that are going to increase your revenue, expand your market share while reducing your costs. And these products are what create leverage. Now, starting with being open to opportunities, and this I think is a key area. After 30 plus years in business, it took me a while to be more open to opportunities and the online world was essential for me to start to master because when you get a little bit more mature, when you're over 50, people don't like to employ you. So it's important that you start to find other ways to create leverage and build residual income. Now, if I had seen all of this and understood all of this when I was actually in my business, boy, what a difference that could have made. It's just extraordinary what technology is doing to business today. Now, we have a look at three different ways. You can have e-commerce where you can sell directly from your website. So you're still running your business or you might have an e-book or something that you, a product that you can sell. If you're in hairdressing, you might have accessories that you could sell. Uh, e-books are a great way. Information products are enormous that you could be doing. And that can be all sold from your website. And that can be one way of creating some additional income streams and uh, number two we can be looking at affiliate marketing now this is just like uh, when you're looking at insurance companies they all pay referral fees the same sort of thing is happening here where you can tap into that your autoresponder the way you're collecting your email addresses they will generally play you at a referral fee. So that's affiliate marketing. And you could be looking at your uh, sales pages. You might be looking at lead pages or click funnels, ways of promoting your business. All of these sorts of things are affiliate marketing where you get rewarded for recommending those products. 
the one particularly which is more suitable, I think, for a lot of people today that are still running their business is what we call network marketing. Now, some of you will go into panic and if you've been around for a while, uh, you might be thinking about your grandmother or your auntie that's done network marketing before and thought, oh my God, I don't want to do that again. Well, I think with this incredible change in technology, there's enormous disruption happening to all business models and that also is happening with network marketing. The disruption that's happened into that area has been enormous and it is one of the most professional industries that you could ever, ever work with. And this is where I strongly believe that small businesses can be tapping in by combining the two different models to creating long-term growth. Now, with what we're going to go through here today, most of you will be in small businesses. So who this is not for is if you're comfortable with being comfortable. If you're happy with it where you actually are, then this is not for you. Or people that are looking for a get-rich-quick scheme doesn't happen that way and maybe you're a business owner who's not willing to explore possibility maybe it's not right your time's not right yet and this won't be for you then and if you're not really a decision maker because this is about making decisions to create change then it's probably not for you and it's something that it's important to realize that when you start to press yourself and realize that you've got to expand outside of your comfort zone, that's where the magic will actually happen. And I think particularly important here to have a look around it. Who are you getting all of your information from? And on an average, most people, you become the average of the five closest people you connect with. So if you're all in a similar sort of comfort zone, you're not going to expand to get growth. So it's important to start to be open to other opportunities that are available for you. Who this is for is businesses who think differently. They know that they need to do some change to create long-term growth plans because the strategies that they're using alone now is not going to work long-term. And someone who's willing to make a decision, you've got to be open-minded. And you know when you look at your bank account, mm -hmm, something needs to change. So this is for people who are wanting to move forward. Now, there are so many emerging opportunities happening at the moment. In the future, and we're talking now and in the future, creativity will become more and more important to opportunity. Connecting things in one domain to situations that might seem totally unrelated is happening more and more. Just have a look at what's actually going on. Uber and the iPhone, you can set up your own taxi system now. You've got your iPhone in there with your map on there, traveling around, you can be running your own little business. Cryptocurrencies to Bitcoins. Network marketing boosts to traditional business models. There are just so many emerging opportunities that you can do as long as you're prepared to step out of your comfort zone and learn some new different strategies and focus on some different procedures to help you create growth. Now, I want to show you something to have a, something's really interesting here. The power of what we call geometric growth. Now, I don't know whether any of you have actually heard of the magic penny. If you actually go through and Google it, when you multiply out the penny system and what we call geometric growth, it is amazing what can actually happen within your business. Now, because I'm focusing on network marketing here, I want you to just have a look at this one particular example. And People panic about network marketing because they think that they've got to go out and sign up hundreds of people and that unfortunately puts in a lot of pressure. But let's say you're running a business, let's say you're running a hairdressing salon, if you introduced one person a month, right, one person a month and you use this system of geometric growth and you worked through to help the next person you've actually introduced, over a 12-month period, you could have 4,000 people, over 4,000 people in your community of networking. Now, looking at remembering that you're starting off with just one person a month and you've taught the other person that you've introduced to do one person a month, when you look at how these multiply out, this is where the magic lies in business. And unfortunately, in traditional based businesses, you are not going to get this sort of growth. Now, if you were using a product or a tool, and this is all network marketing is, it's a tool to help you get this sort of growth. Uh, this particular marketing plan that um, this example has been taken over, taken off, is 
giving you a conservative estimate of 25000 per month. Now, networking pays some very large dollars, and this is where I think it's important that all businesses can have a look at because they can create a massive difference in their community and create massive change. Now, of course, there's no guarantee of any income. I don't know what sort of work that you're actually going to do, but when you do the sums, can you do that in your traditional business? No, it doesn't work that way. So let's have a look at what's happening here is we're using cloud-based technology and we're networking. You're building your business, you're buying locally and you're growing globally. Now, a lot of people in now advertising here locally are talking about buy local, buy local to support your local businesses. But there's also a little catch here. You need to also buy local and think global because when you start using technology, you can expand your business long term. Have a look at it. You and I both know that customers is, is key, right? Customer retention is key and you have got to enrol your staff in the whole situation. So if we have a look here at the moment and just look at a basic business plan. Now, everybody's business plan is going to be uh, at a different area. You're all at different stages within your business. But generally what's happening is we're not have not enough clients and, of course, the revenue is not there. And, of course, when the revenue is not there, the profit is not there as well. But if we start to look at how we can focus on these key areas and we'll go into that a little bit more this is where you can start to increase the growth when, within your business but the key is tying it up with technology in particular I want to hi highlight the VIP community and membership areas and you start working in that area and you are going to create massive growth within your business I think something we need to look at when you're in a traditional base business is start to notice the numbers that are coming in and realise that the key to any business growth is retention, right? And we have to start to think differently about our business. But I think sometimes businesses... Uh, misunderstand what an actual customer really is. So when you're first starting off, you've got your suspect. Your sp suspect is coming to see whether they're going to do business with you. Then they become a prospect. They'll collect your details. Then they become a shopper and they buy once from you to confirm. Now, they don't become a customer until they've actually bought more than once from you and then they become a member. And that's where they start to feel like they belong and they become an advocate, telling others around you and you know you've got a loyal fan for there they've become a raving fan now to give you an example uh, I visited one particular hairdressing salon in my region about four months ago now I haven't been back to that particular salon yet I still maybe four I'll go five months ago I still get text messages from that salon saying oh you haven't been back into the business uh, come back and I'll give you a 10% discount would it not be better, I'm only a shopper, I'm only checking that person out at that particular stage, would it not be better to actually phone that customer and ask, how can we help? How can we be of better value? And I think this is where it's important with technology. You must use that to connect with your clients and build long term. Now, if you notice your numbers, key numbers in business is retention. We've got to keep the retention in your business. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And this is where I really would like to introduce you to the concept of introducing the social business model into your business. If you're wanting to create growth, you've got to start to look at how you can use technology and a lot of these tools that are available online to build a social business model. And what do I mean by that? Well, by social business model, you're actually giving back to community and you're working for a deeper why. You're not just chasing the dollar. You've got a deeper reason on why you're doing your business. And let's face it, traditional businesses in the area are the heartbeat of any community. Communities don't survive without traditional business. So we have to have traditional business being profitable. And I think the social business model is a key element here. Now, if you have a look at where you can start using a social business model, you can start to profit with purpose. Right? You build the social aspect into your business. So you're not just chasing the dollar. You've got conversation on how you're giving back to community. And I will be showing you one particular uh, social business model that I work with. There are numerous different types around, but this particular one is uh, pulling on a lot of heartstrings with people in this area. So it was one that I decided to join with. Now, 
just to have a quick break there for a minute, if you have a quick look at what's going on in your business, there are five key areas that you need to be looking at. Your number of inquiries, your conversions to sale, uh, the average dollar sale, and the number of sales that customer comes back per year, and your profit margins. If you start to monitor those five key areas and measure each one of those numbers, you will see where any challenges lie within your business, and you will see where you'll be able to create growth within your business. Now, by just working on those key numbers and aiming to do it like a roughly a 10% as an example here, increase you can see that you're getting over a 61% increase in your profit margins. It's amazing what you're actually doing. You've just built that profit from uh, your 21,000 through to 35,000, over 61% increase that you can do in your business just by monitoring these numbers. I mean, there is absolutely no point in advertising if you do not know that you've got a problem at the other end of the, the scale. It's like pouring a bucket in with a hole in the bottom. All right. If you've got a communication problem going, your average dollar sales not going to grow and the number of customers per year is not going to go, yet you've spent a lot of money increasing on advertising to get new clients. So just before you spend any more dollars, just check out these numbers in your business and monitor it for a couple of months so you can identify where any problems will actually be within your business. And I really think we've actually come for a time, a change, time for change now. And I think maybe it's time we approach our business from a different angle and start to really implement these areas where you're creating profit with purpose. I really think if you have a look around, we've had a massive challenge here in Australia with our corporate areas, our banking systems and all sorts of things. I know it's happened all over the world, but... Uh, they're really some greedy things that have actually been happening. And I think if you, the local business model, started to approach business from a different angle, we can create change and build more opportunity for people all around us. See, when you're looking, the most average earners have only one source of income. Their income and way of life are at risk. Right, the cost of living has gone up so much. Their bank accounts grow slowly, if at all, and they have more stress, less freedom, and are not fulfilled. Now, these are some of the people that you're employing. Yet, if you actually start to bring a social business model in, you can see how this will help them create growth themselves. They can enroll themselves within your business and give them a lot more purpose. If you don't have happy healthy, strong staff, that's going to impact on your business. And yes, a lot of your staff are going to have these sort of situations as well happening in their life. So you can't afford to just think of it from your point of view. It's how you can grow your business as a total. Just like my friend here, meet Richard. He was a gym owner, 50000 in debt. He worked 80 hours plus a week. He was a new father, desperately looking for a solution. He had no freedom. He was being chased by leasing people. And after attempting many different ways to build his business and getting a lot of rejection, Richard now has built a global community and he spends more time with his family and it's all been through using leverage. He introduced a different product into his business where he could create multiple streams of income and that's creating leverage. And this is the key with technology now, how we all can get our businesses ahead. So what's the secret? Well, as I've used that word already, Robert Kiyosaki, as most of you know from the Rich Dad, Poor Dad sequence, says that leverage is the fundamental in creating wealth. Leverage is the weapon that the wealthy use. So how can you as a small traditional based business, a mum and dad business, create leverage, right? It's hard sometimes you seem to miss out, but technology is enabling you to do that now. And if you have a look at Robert Kiyosaki's book, The Cashflow Quadrant, I would highly recommend everybody buy that book. It's just an excellent book to help you understand the flow of money and the fundamentals of business and the business blocks, right? People are not connecting to people connecting with people, not to things. And what do I mean by that? If you look, when you start off in the cash flow quadrant, you're an employee, you say you were working at McDonald's, then you step up, you become self-employed, right? You take on, uh, here's the example of a landscaper, you take on the big step and you invest in setting up yourself in a business 
but it makes it very hard because you're limited on the results you're going because you're still trading time for money. So the key is to actually get you over to the what we call the right side of the cash flow quadrant where you become a business owner, where you're creating leverage. You're using systems and processes in your business to create leverage. Uh, now, for example, they're here, they're using send out cards, which is uh, a product that is done through direct sales. It's a network marketing product where you can send out a thank you card or you can send out invitations and things with send out cards. Now, that is a system and it's a process and it's creating leverage. And then we eventually get into the investor stage where you get to the high flyers like, well, they've got an example there of Trump, but... Um, this is just an example of how you move through the cash flow quadrant. And what if we could actually equip our people, our staffing, to properly sell? And this is where the marketing comes in. And if you can educate your staff correctly, that selling is not a dirty word. It's something that we all do. And if we can equip our people to do that correctly, you're going to create growth and you're going to build long-term growth within your business. Now, I have to come back to this particular chart here. It's all of these areas that we're looking in, those five numbers that I said, all connect and relate up here to what I call the four C's of business, where we build community, we build communication, collaborate with each other, and everybody gets compensated. And this is a part of using a social business model in your business. You can compensate everybody. It's a really, really key part in creating long-term growth. Now, would it be worth it if you had staff that were all happy working there? They were all getting paid. You had incentives and bonuses that they could be rewarded with. And this is using tools that pay you leverage and create long-term growth. And as Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll be working until you die. Now, I know there's no way I could be cutting hair well past my 60s and 70s. I mean, I could probably do it, but it wouldn't be the best results in the world. It's not creating leverage and it's not creating income for me. So I need to find some way that works automatically. And this is where you have to introduce different products into your business that's going to automatically multiply and grow. Just like I said here with the magic penny power, if you Google that, you can come through and see what it actually does. This is what leverage is doing. So where you might have just started in your first three or four months just introducing one person a month and teaching the other person you've introduced to do this, to introduce, the, sorry, to introduce a person a month, to think that you can end up with 4,000 people in your community, in your uh, area that you work together, and you could be creating possibly in this particular example of the company that I've used, 25,000 per month, it's well worth understanding what geometric growth is all about and how duplication can create leverage for you in the long term. No, it won't happen overnight. In the first couple of months, you won't see it happen. But then all of a sudden, when you have a look around month four and five, sorry, five and six, look what happens here. You're starting to really get into the it just twists, it just flips its head and you start to create massive growth within your community and you would never know all of these people. And this is the power of using a product that is leverage-based. Have a look at what's going on today. I mean, people need each other. We need help. It is so busy and so overwhelming. And I personally think hairdressers is a perfect example to be uh, in a prime situation because you can't get your hair done online. And it's an area where you can come in and feel comfort and get the best results by communicating and touching base with each other. Advertising, family, everything is just so busy. It's so hectic. It really, really becomes very overwhelming. And you, I don't know, you lose control. You're sort of wondering where the heck you're actually going to. And it becomes very, very disheartening. And I think this is where, although technology is absolutely brilliant, we've got to learn to use it correctly so we can create massive growth within our business and build communities that we can work together with. And this is where I'd like to introduce you to Experient. It's the journey is the destination with Experient. It's a private community. It's a powerful friend of influential people that are helping us all grow our business. We've got some amazing mentors and it's a buying club. 
right? We work with travel. We've got mentorships. We've got our training in financial areas. We have relationship training, health, and so much more. And it's the opportunity for you to leave a legacy and live with no regrets. And by sharing and caring for others, you can create growth in your community and build it. You don't know where it's going to build to globally around the world, but it's about everyday people, you and I, getting back and taking control of our lives and tapping into these areas and these markets and build strong, affordable communities for all to benefit. Now, we have luxury travel where you can save in so many different areas. It's a private club, resorts, hotels, cruises, uh, rental cars, all sorts of attractions that you can go through. Uh, we have rewards every time you, it's just like your normal booking platform, but this is yours where you get rewarded. You've got over 400,000 hotels, you've got reward credits. You have a price guarantee if you actually found uh, a cheaper hotel at a cheaper price there, just take a screenshot and you send it off and they pay you 110% of the difference. This is just one aspect of what we actually do in our club. You can see some of the different savings that people get. Sydney, saving up to 39%. Vegas, 41%. Orlando, I've just got back from Orlando, you can save up to 46%. New York, save up to 40%. This is because we have the power of community of buying that gives us the opportunity to buy so much value. And as I said, we always have a price guarantee. So you can be guaranteed to getting the best results there. Some of the different testimonials that we've had with people that have gone through using one aspect of our uh, leisure club and they're saving, well, here's one saved $180 dollars. Uh, Less, say, 40%, that was over 800, 20% there. And here's one that's worked in a different business and she joined the experience and she's made two and a half thousand or 2,300 and sorry, $2,003 in her first few weeks of doing it. These are so many different stories that just goes on and on and on that if you start using products that create leverage, you will get massive results. Now, whether you're in hairdressing, whether you're just want to go shopping, right? Whether you want to educate your family in a different way of living and travel the world and have fun with your kids. Maybe you just uh, want to go on holidays or you could be someone that wants to get rid of your mortgage. Now, how many of your clients are in these situations where you could be helping them become debt free? Everybody needs a tool to work with. So this is where it becomes probably one of the most valuable products that you can ever use as an item, a leveraged item in your business where you can share with your community and help everybody grow. And let's face it, we all need some sort of guidance in how we can go through and do all of this. I know for me, it gets a bit overwhelming with all of the online. And I think for the last four years, starting to work out where I was heading, um, it was so good to be able to find clear, precise, step-by-step -step results that we needed to do. I was so impressed when I found this. I even flew to America, uh, to Orlando, to the launch. I've just got back from the launch. And I know full well that we have got a very, very powerful community here that's ready and willing to help us all grow and create the change. And there's something very special within this community, and we'll have a look at that. There's so many other benefits and it's fully launched in America at the moment. We're on pre-launch for Australia, but we've got all host of other benefits, roadside assistance, dining discounts, shopping discounts, golf, legal protection, all sorts of legal services that we have available access to, identity protection. These are important areas. Now, this is important, this one here, financial IQ. One of the biggest challenges, whether you're in any form of network marketing company or a small business, who teaches you how to expand your financial education? No one. You don't learn that at school. You don't learn that when you're running a business. You're just surviving with what's going on. It's important for you to understand your financial areas. Uh, and these guys are here. I mean, we had one guy come and do a presentation for us. He was the moneymaker. And he showed us how the wealthy are using wholesale insurance, life insurance policies to buy all of their vehicles really interesting how this actually happens. So it's making yourself more aware and become educated to what is going on around you and you can tap into this as well. Relationships is another key area. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're seeing so many horrendous 
challenges in families because they're under stress and we're seeing violence and domestic violence and all sorts of things are happening because families are all under a lot of stress where it, we it doesn't have to be we can start using our community to help create change and build the families and communities that we should be having and this is all done with online education or there are different trips that we have that have these things actually happening it's such a powerful tool that every business can create growth and long-term results within there now there's an important part within this tool that i think is very important to mention and that is the social aspect i mentioned to you before in, I know within hairdressing salons where you're always just discussing the shampoos and conditioners. Well, to me, it's about time we start to create a lot more awareness to what's actually going on around the world. And as a part of our community, the experienced community, a portion of every membership goes directly to the front line of A21 and we're ending slavery and abolishing human trafficking. It's just extraordinary what is going on. There, there are more than 20 million people enslaved today and that's the most in human history. And Experian is passionate about helping to end human trafficking. Did you know it's actually a $150 billion industry and it's going strong all around the world and unfortunately very strong here in Australia as well too. So I think this is important for us to all combine and work together so we can start to create change and you as a traditional business owner, you're at the heartbeat of any community that you can bring awareness to this and let's start stopping that sort of horrid things that have been going on simply by using a tool that you can help. Now, as I said, this is a business tool, something for you to increase your revenue, reduce your costs and expand your market share. And I'd like you to think about if you keep doing what you're doing now, where will you be in two years time? Do you really think that you can double your prices with so much competition around? And how can you differentiate yourself? I mean, we've all got dreams, but you need your tools to help you grow to that level. And just imagine two years from today, if you could inject a possible extra $2,000 a month into your business right, without having to disrupt what you're actually doing. I'd even say that, well, you saw by that example you can do that I had before, you could do that in one year. Imagine if people were paying you from something that you referred them to and not from you having to do the physical time doing it. Small business is in a prime position. It's 10 times easier to recommend to those who have already purchased from you. So using these types of tools is the ideal thing to help you grow your business. This ecosystem is happening now as we speak and you can profit with purpose. And it's time for you to think success, your success and long-term success. Now, as I said, my name's Helene Meering. My business is the Rebel Business Builders. And yes, we do like to think differently in how we can create growth. But you can connect up with me. There's a booking platform that you can uh, book a strategy session with me uh, and work with Helene. One dot, you can book me, book dot me, uh, go through and have a look at that there. Or you can uh, email me at helenemeering at gmail.com. And the other thing is if you're on my web page or my Facebook page, we can go through and connect up there. But start to be open to what other opportunities are available for you. And I look forward to connecting up with you and sharing more and signing off and have a great day.